is Bach Nguyen, Glaucoma Specialist at Berkeley Eye Center in Houston, Texas, and I will be demonstrating a video implanting the Ahmed FP7 Glaucoma valve onto the Bionico X1 simulation eye model. The goal of this video is to demonstrate how to safely practice and simulate certain important maneuvers of successful tube shunt surgery prior to working directly on live human eyes. There will be certain specific differences that we'll note throughout the video between this Bionico X1 simulation eye model and that of live human eyes. Here I am using an 80 nylon on a TG175-8 needle to secure the tube shunt plate to the sclera 8-9mm to posterior to the limbus. It is important to note that it is most helpful to keep the simulation eye model well hydrated prior to working with it as it will make these scleral passes easier. While nothing can be exactly the same as live human eyes, it should be noted that this eye model scleral tissue does create more resistance than actual live human sclera and it requires more force to create these scleral passes in the simulation. I will also will place some additional counter traction on the model to help facilitate the scleral pass. Again, keeping the eye model hydrated will make things easier. Given the angle of my scleral pass, I sometimes find it easier just to re-grab and redirect the needle after the scleral pass to redirect the needle through the tube shunt implant eyelid. I secure this with a 2111 knot and I rotate the knot into the eyelid and this is done to secure both eyelids to the sclera. I then measure the tube shunt to see how long of a track it would create in the anterior chamber and I trim the tube to the appropriate length and create a face-up bevel with sharp Westcott scissors. I then use a 23 gauge needle to create a passageway into the anterior chamber above the iris. I then fill the anterior chamber with a cohesive viscoelastic device such as Helon. Now this is again where things will differ between the eye model and live human eyes. In live human eyes, the scleral opening from the 23 gauge needle will stay open long enough for you to insert the tube shunt directly into the eye. However, with this model, the sclera rebounds quickly after the 23 gauge needle is withdrawn and so I have to take a 15 degree super sharp blade to widen the opening so that I can insert the tube shunt into the anterior chamber. I then secure the tube shunt track to the sclera using a figure of eight suture with a 70 vicryl suture on the TG140-8 needle. I make two scleral passes, giving counter traction to aid with the pass as I had done with the prior scleral passes to secure the plate. Then I tie it off with a 211 and trim it with Venice scissors. While nothing can be a perfect depiction of live human eyes, the goal of this Bionico X1 simulation eye model, as well as things like pig eyes and virtual surgical simulators, is to safely practice important surgical maneuvers and to make, and more importantly correct, any mistakes in a low risk setting where there's no risk of harm to any patient. This is very important to do prior to working on live human eyes where any mistake can potentially lead to sight-threatening complications. Prior to staffing residents and fellows on glaucoma surgery, I always insisted that my residents and fellows take the time to practice in these low-risk settings prior to working together on live cases. It is better for everyone involved. For the learner, they gain more experience in practice. For me as the attending, I am able to help focus on even more complex maneuvers now that they are more secure in their basic fundamentals. And above all, for the patient, they get an overall safer surgical experience.